they're not dragging it along the floor. <laughs> you don't have a choice uh, yeah, here I in the matter. Danny would have been a funny, your, your funny jokes. You get enough electric eels to power now now a lamp. I'm taking the luster out of the things I love. <laughs> if you're listening, please uh, <laughs> say uh, I don't know where you are. I'd probably yeah. It is a lot of salt. Welcome, welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. Welcome back, <laughs> hitting the nar pow. Right in the nar pow. This is this. I, I texted the whole group. This is a ski themed episode. I even brought skis. Those are my skis. And these, no, I bought them at the Salvation Army. We split Everybody knows them. them. We split them. And I own one of those skis. Nobody else did anything. Antonio said, said he threw out all his coats. And yeah. where'd, you, where'd you put your coats? I said I, I, I got. Are you planning rid of them. on moving to I, Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more coats. No more coats. Do yeah. people in Florida own coats? I doubt it. They own like fucking Hawaiian shirts and cargo shorts or something. Yeah. Or capris? No, no they, they definitely wear own coats because they wear them when it's like it's 55 degrees. Right, like right, right. Really right. cold days. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need a coat today. Ooh. Even a true. hot day. True, true. I don't, I mean, I don't ski. I got rid of, I, I, you don't I snowboard. I don't snowboard. You don't ride a bike. I, you don't I, do anything cool. I don't do anything cool. I told him I got rid of my coats. We texted JT and JT said he was down, but JT's forgetful T. I am. I am. So, so now we have Danny... Just uh, no. overheating out here. Yeah, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I, I, I'm such an, I'm in such a mood to go skiing. I know that I don't mind. I just like wearing my garb, and usually I'd be wearing a helmet, like you should when you ski or snowboard. I mean, you always wear a helmet. Um, but I didn't wear it today. Yeah, all your fucking ski trips have been canceled, right? Or something happened, or yeah, you know. Uh, uh, I'm hoping to go to one in March for sure. But I don't know. Maybe it might be canceled. It depends on how COVID bovid is looking. My whole family went skiing once. I didn't go. I just it's like it's not something that I even thought to So you just said no? Yeah, I just said not going. Like it's not even a thought I entertained. And then they they all like they couldn't follow the paths or something. I'm guessing ski paths are hard to follow or my family is that dumb. Hmm. And they almost went down like no no. Half of them did accidentally go down a double black diamond, whatever. Hmm. And like my sister went down on her ass. My 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 sis, my aunt almost killed herself going into a tree. I, I don't even know how my mom got down. And then my uncle, my other uncle, like stopped halfway through and literally climbed back up and went back down the like the path. Yeah, I just mean, turned into that movie for them. They had to start eating each other. Yeah, like Frozen, whatever <laughs> yeah. the fucking movie. like the, not the not the Disney Frozen, the other <laughs> Frozen. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm sure it wasn't pretty. They can be hard. Yeah, they can be hard to follow sometimes. Dude, people die skiing. Like a lot, dude. It's it's, it's ridiculous yeah. that that you could just go down and like wrong turn. It's cliff, just off a cliff, and you you buy tickets for that. It's an inherently dangerous sport, um, but it's still fun. I got I don't a, know what's uh, oh. uh, huh? I I got a haircut today. Really? Yeah, I just Can't but tell. yeah, I know I made him keep it long, but just clean it up so I don't have the fucking like curlies. And there's there's I realized there's a point in getting a haircut, like probably around the halfway mark. Where you just go, Jesus! If he stopped here, this would I, this would be the grossest looking thing in the history of the world. Like yeah. you really got to trust the barber to fix the mess he started with, and it truly does get worse before it gets better during a haircut. It's terrifying. Yeah, my barber would always do that. I think he would do it on purpose because he would he would start on the top <laughs> and leave me the old man ring, <laughs> old man ring of hair. Like I look like a like a the, the monk of Saint Francis yeah. or something. Every saint has a, a weird, huge, bald spot on top. He could just stop and just play a sick prank on Yeah, go, right not now. doing it. I mean, you just go to another barber, but yeah. No, I gotta... No. Yeah, you gotta walk. Just put on a hat. What were haircuts like in like in history? Like, did they were, were they just purely for function? Like, oh, my hair's getting my eyes. Let's shear it off. Well, how far back are we talking here that, uh, that we're using shears? Like, uh, the, the, you know, uh, the Dark Ages. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure all. I'm I sure just all, use like a knife. And, yeah, but the thing is that hurts, man. That hurts. It does hurt. Just using a, a like a a sharp rock to try to cut your hair. I mean, they they, they had more than sharp I, rocks. I'm not, I was going a little bit before the dark ages there, okay. but yeah, they have swords. Just use fucking. Like what are barbarians doing? <laughs> yeah, it's weird though because how come are there humans that can just not get a haircut ever? Because like my dog looks normal and his hair grows like this long and stops never never got I, we've never, never trimmed ever, the boy in the, in his life given him a haircut his hair goes like this much and stops wow, and really? it's like yeah and it's like why can't humans just do that dude that would be great if my hair could just i say this all the time there's always 
no matter what you say, I wonder if a human has it or has done this. I, I always assume there's always been one. There's probably been one. There's too many of us to the I mean, there's, uh, of course, there's always a guy that's just bald. Right. But, 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 but I'm saying is, do you think there probably is one human where this is the max length his hair could grow and it just stays there? And it looks there's great. Pro- there's probably one and he looks fantastic. Unless like one, if it grew one, yeah, but even him, he's like, oh man, I wish I had long hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that like, seems like kind of like a curse though. Because like, if then if you if he didn't know that and you cut it, does it just never grow back? No, 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 not not like. Or it it, it only yeah. grows to a certain like length. it stops How at two possibly inches. Possibly no. I don't. I mean, it just. I don't know. That's a that's a very good point also. But apparently it happens. You know, if you don't have to trim a dog, boom. It's, it's that, that gene or whatever well, yeah, but is that's, somewhere. But that's the question. If if you did trim your dog, would hair grow back to that length? That's good yeah, point. definitely, definitely. Well, how do you know? If you've never done it. Because he's we had a surgery or something, and he had to sh- completely shave a part of his thing. Ah. And come back for sure, it comes back. Uh, I think they just fall out when they get to a certain point. Because I guess dogs shed, right? But oh, back to that thing, like people back then. Let's say before, like language was created, right? How do you say? Do I want a haircut? No, no, no. <laughs> off, off the hair thing. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Like, uh, do you think back before language was created, were they like? Maybe not talking because they can't talk. Really thinking about their dick size and like, oh, my dick's not big enough. Excuse like, do you, know, do you think that goes? Do you think that transcends language? I think that definitely transcends language in the sense that like, it could go either way. I'm pretty sure in some cultures, because the pharaoh had a really tiny dick, he made it so small dicks were cooler. Exactly. I'm pretty sure that's mm-hmm. happened. But I think for like tribes and like when they were hunting and shit, the bigger the dick, oh, you're the leader. But now. they just knew it. They didn't have to say it, right? Yeah, they were like, oh, look at that, Honestly, look at that fucking. Thing. I don't know about that. Definitely. You know, I'm gonna be in the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be an advocate for the small dicks here. Yeah, I and understand I, and, why, and but I, that's not worth it. You don't and have I, a choice here, think, buddy. <laughs> and I think that. I mean, if you really think about it, if you're if you're hunting naked. A larger dick is just a liability, truly. No. They had, it they it had the, certainly is. They had the leopard. It certainly <laughs> is. It's not if, that if, much of a if liability. If you're running through a, like a forest, having an exposed... Danny, I'm not, they're not dragging it along the floor. <laughs> yeah, no, but, you're talking about between like this big and like that big. It's not... It, it, huge difference. And first of all, I'm only hunting huge, hard. Huge so. difference. Huge difference. I think yeah, that you're extreme, incorrect. Extreme, extreme liability. I don't, it's, it can't be, it's not as much a liability as like a stigmatism, but like, or like well, uh, being, nobody said that. I'm saying, I'm, wait, look, keep it, keep it to the, keep it to the dicks. I'll here. keep it to the dicks. Keep it to the dicks. I'll keep it, I'll keep it to the dicks. There is, it's not there, that it, liability when hunting something that your dick's a little bit bigger than, than the guy next to you. I think you're crazy. What, what's getting, what, what, why? Danny, you understand that it's not that you believe this, it's that you have to believe this. <laughs> right. You don't have, you don't have a choice uh, yeah, here I in the matter. Danny would have been a funny, you're, you're funny jokes. <laughs> Danny, very, very funny. Danny I'm, I'm telling you this, you you you're wrong a- a- any you're telling any wrong. A- any appendage larger than another that is external is absolutely a liability Longer any- arms would help me hunt this fucking thing no but you're saying if you have like let's say you have for whatever reason you have ear lobes that are bigger than all of these ear lobes by a make- few inches yeah and, yeah, it's and now that'd be, a, that'd be a liability and now i'm forced that'd be yeah, a liability you're just exaggerating now i'm forced I'm to abs- be a gatherer i'm absolutely I can't not hunt. no 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 this i'm telling you man and what about before they had like measurements, like inches and shit? Were they like, were they like, oh, my dick's like two coconuts long? And he's That's like, oh, that guy's got a huge cock, that dude. That's huge. Well, I mean, coconuts can be small. I but understand, yeah. but they're not going like, oh yeah, like my my dick is a quarter coconut. You know, they were like, def- but they were definitely measuring it right before inches and centimeters were a thing. Yeah, and also I'm pretty sure just the one that was most like potent that could expand the tribe was probably the leader didn't matter the size it was whatever swimmers hit the fucking well yeah the that's probably egg. true well they probably uh, yeah yeah and whoever had the biggest nuts probably a big thing back then too yeah that would be a liability no that no that'd be it because that's bravery dude balls big balls bravery i don't think they have the courage that, to go yeah. against this mammoth yeah it's like i'm gonna fucking take out this mammoth with my really small all dick. of these things are you you're not thinking hard enough into these things the, the, the women the women with the huge tits they just set and they did. They didn't do the hunter and gathering. They were the mothers. They made the milk. True, but they that's still get. They, they, these, they, that's we, why we, we love them. We 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 have. This is this is ingrained deep inside of us. I don't that think these that these extra large appendages are special, but not Fantastic. ideal. 
I don't think no, the big were... balls are definitely ideal. For sure. The big I... balls are certainly not nah, ideal. There's of more all testosterone. Of, of all of more testosterone, man. It's, it's I mean, the key to I manliness. Mean, the, the people with the bigger balls probably were the leaders because of the testosterone. Yes. That's probably true. Uh, no, and and I, I, yeah, you could be the leader, but I'm saying it can still. But leaders still have liabilities. You have, you have a if you, if you're the Death Star, you have, and you have big balls, you have a bigger you have a what bigger is place. Death Star? You, yeah. you 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 have a bigger place, a bigger area of attack, like where, Star where, Wars, where, I think. Where, where, where you are vulnerable. I mean, it had a small Aren't area. Aren't the leaders attack. always the most viable, though? Or viable? Aren't they always the most li- um, like viable? Yeah, the most because vulnerable. B- because they're you, the leader, c- and because the, I mean, obviously, the person who hunts the most exactly. is most likely to die. Exactly. And if you got fucking two tennis balls swinging in a sack, and th- those are that's your weak point. This is this is. I'm not saying you can't be the leader, but it's certainly an extra liability. But again, the people, the leaders are the ones that are, the leaders the most dangerous job. They are the most vulnerable. Yeah, but they also get either the most either puss. way. I I don't think we were like sending the woman with a cups to go gather. I think everyone was. Gathering. Oh, I disagree. I don't think we were judging off that. It's like no. honestly, first of all, it didn't matter what the size of the dick or the size of the breast. It mattered if you cannot poison us by picking out the right berry. I, yeah, that's true. I'd much rather the the big the big mama jugs go get me my strawberries than the, the, than the a cup giving me the poison. Back then, if you had the milk and tits, you were just sitting down. Every that, sitting down. You are not qualified Every on any t- level sit, to be making sit, statements sit, like that. Sitting down and sitting pretty. That's what you do. Well, then I'd rather... And, and being milked. <laughs> now you're just making stuff up. I, I swear to God, this is all... We, we ever, we're ever not watch, drinking... He's, no, he's, we weren't ever drinking watch, milk. Ever watch, no, of course, yeah, but no, but they're but they're making the milk for the for their, to for, their for young, the young. For the young. They were definitely gathering. We each have a role... And if you ha- and if you have huge tits, it's harder to gather berries. I mean, I think that's a fact. That is not, a- Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he's right. I think I think yeah. it makes no. But but what about carrying? Exactly, good sir. Now, Thank you. Now you could like put you could like the baskets full. You could <sighs> shove extra fucking no, berries. No, no, no. And also your back hurts now. It's horrible. Okay, yeah, we. we Our back's hurting regardless. Yeah, that's that's not gonna make. I don't th- I don't think a couple extra strawberries is gonna, is gonna kill the back. You know. You you will be rewarded if you have big tits. By being able to just lay down, Danny just yeah. doesn't want to do stuff. That's why. No, no. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm not eligible for this Dan, category. Danny actually doesn't have big tits. That's I, true. I, I, I'm not eligible for this category. I don't think Danny male nipples together, can ma- can can milk. I, I don't think they can either. I'm sure there's one. <laughs> no, I'm sure, there's, not, there's I'm, definitely. I'm sure there's no, definitely you, one. You can definitely. Men can definitely milk. <sighs> Hmm. You take I read it. I read it on a website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't try. And I saw all, a video. All, yeah, ma- all men can milk. Just a matter of practice. Uh, maybe yeah. if, if you pop enough. Es- really? If you pop enough estrogen pills, maybe. Maybe. I don't know, man. I just read it somewhere. I don't think we have milk ducks. I think that's the problem. I don't what? think we. I don't well, think we got milk quackers. We nipples. Because we it's start a fantastic off. Because we. Because we start off as a girl in the womb. Right, but when? Why do they keep growing as we age? Be- because they're there now. Why wouldn't they just shrivel up the and like, fall off? Fall off. That would yeah. be fucking weird. Oh, dude, I lost my nipples yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, high five, yeah. You're a fucking man. I have a party about it. Yeah, but now there's that one guy who's like 40 and still has his nipples. He's, like, he's oh. crying about it. Yeah, it's like, oh, we don't talk to Jerry. He's still got his, he's still got his he's nipples. Got his nipples man. Yeah, man, he's still got his nipples. Give him babies. Start milking him already. Oh, yeah. That's what he'd be called, fucking milker. Yeah. Like fucking breeder or whatever. Then there'd be like race wars over it. Where are the people who still have nipples? Yeah, it's like n- nipple rights. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. Maybe we should watch more History Channel or something. Isn't it funny how the History Channel during the day is like totally like very accurate to history, and then at nighttime it just becomes like history the channel aliens, after like dark. ancient aliens, <laughs> and yeah. the aliens, and it's like all these crazy fucking theories. It's like that fucking guy that looks like it's he very strange got zapped by uh, lightning. That it, it it does both of those things. Yeah, it's also not just day and night thing. They got they got like shows about Bigfoot on there and shit too that aren't that uh reputable. I mean, every True. every network is all just math and numbers. It's like these people are the freaks during this time. They like the aliens, so we're gonna put aliens. You know, it's, everything's ratings anyway. Some people like watching cheetahs kill a fucking wild boar. Some people like watching a freak talk about how the aliens built the pyramids. It's just life. Yeah, I think we're just assigning too much credibility to them because they. Are, like the History Channel, like oh, it's gonna be reputable. But at the end of the day, they're just another TV channel, it's yeah. just trying to make money, taking the luster out of the things I love. <laughs> Please stop. The History it, Channel it is, or Ancient is, Aliens? Uh, both. I mean, I love both. The History Channel is fucking cool. It is cool. Of all of all the ca- if if I had to pick a handful of cable TV channels, History Channel would certainly be on there, along with the the Game Show Network. You need the Game Show Network. If the Game Show Network had a streaming service, I would buy it immediately. 
That's fair. I agree. You definitely need the History Channel. And I have this weird, like, I guess it's a, what's it called, like a guilty pleasure, but I don't know if this is appropriate or not, but I like watching the, like, the animals in the wild, like, hunt other animals. Oh, yeah. No, no yeah, they hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, why would that not be appropriate? I don't know. I feel like people like everyone with like animal. If rides, you like watching like, them fuck, that would be a little. That would be a little strange. Like if there was just it's nature, man. And also, if it's the, natural. If the History Channel just had a show for that, <laughs> I'd be more questionable on that. But I like watching animals hunt and like eat each other. It also, I mean, it would definitely be on Animal Planet. Come on. That's true. Oh, the Animal Planet. But yeah, I like I follow this account, Nature's Metal, on Instagram, and I I feel like a little bit of a psychopath following it, but I'm also. It's just videos of animals like killing each other, hunting yeah, in the wild. Yeah, and there's something that does feel wrong about watching it. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. some, there's part of me that's like, am I a psychopath watching this? But then there's another part that's like, this is nature, and it's important to remember that nature isn't like fluffy, cuddly animals. Right. Like this, like, this is what nature really is. And also, is. like, it, it it in a sense, it teaches you like also how dangerous just the wild is. You know. Yeah. It's like it's not something like I understand African safaris and stuff, but like these people are still in danger. Technically, if a group of lions just decided, oh, you see that truck, going for it. Yeah, I mean it's a inherently risky activity. Uh, also, we're kind of I feel like it's kind of a shitty one. Even just viewing, what is just like Af- like true African safaris, like going in and just taking a jeep into like yeah. this animal's like homeland. Like you have a guide with like one of those hats and a fucking like rifle. Why is it shitty? I don't know. It just feels like you're disrupting, uh, you know. And to I, be, and I, to, be, I don't think you're disrupting. I mean, the, nature is literally where we came from, so I don't think you're disrupting anything by going back to it. You are. Hmm. You're definitely disrupting a little bit by taking this like man-made jeep and driving through these people, this, this these animals' lands. But also, you go to a zoo, see a lion, and you go to African safari, see a lion. Still a lion. It's just this one could kill me, and this one could try really hard to kill me, but probably fail. True. But zoo lions are like, you know, they're soft. Yeah, those are soft bitches. They 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 grew up in the lap of luxury. Yeah, they got milk and steaks. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know if you. Well, call I mean, that. I, I guess it depends on which zoo you're talking about. Right. Also, like that's another thing. Like people hate the fact that animals are caged at all. So, like, is it luxurious? There's, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's, I'm sure it varies wildly. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> <laughs> With the puns today. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it varies because I'm sure there are some animals who. Who are who are happy, but just cannot, but they can't go back into nature. And so some people would say that that's wrong. Oh no, I'm sure there's a couple uh, animals that if they could write a letter, they go, please don't send me back there. Like, I don't want to be there. Yeah, you I feel know. like a, like seals are like that. I maybe you know I feel like, <laughs> I feel I like don't know. seals are a very performative animal, and right. uh, we treat them pretty well, and they don't need much. Yeah, but we also treat them like seals were in the circus. You know, any animal that's ever been in the circus, they, they, they're probably a little ashamed, you know? No, man. I feel like seals, that's what they're born to do. Like, even in... They're definitely like, not like born the, to be in like the circus. Like, on the coast, on the coast of, uh, like, the San Francisco Bay area, they, there's a, they just have little tiny, like, docks, and seals just come. And they're like literally water hello. dogs. They are water dogs. And 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 the seals just come, and they just like... Or, 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 and they fucking... They say hello to people. Bounce and that's balls what they do. On their yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, fucking or like the weird balls with the star, like the Toy Story ball. So I feel like, yeah, yeah. Also, you see the, seals. You see, you see how penguins test if there's predators in the water. They push one of their buddies. They just, in. they just go, "Hey, Jerry, can you look over the, fu- <laughs> can you look over the side, dude? Whoosh. What's that? <laughs> yeah, and, and then this, and if there's like a lion, leopard seal, come eat, back tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go. Oh, we'll try again tomorrow. Uh, you're in line next, Marty. Yeah, I don't <laughs> it's like, like penguins. No, Fuck penguins. you don't like little tuxedo wearing freaks. No, no. There's something like just you just described it, oh, and also essence. probably the rooted in, in the Batman villain. There's something I just do not trust about penguins. I mean, yeah, that you know they're always plotting. I mean, that's why you know penguins in Madagascar and shit. Exactly, they're they're mischievous little little suckers. They smell too. They're rude. They're rude to each other. I went to this. I guess Sea World had this like frozen penguin sanctuary, and they just they literally just like just walk around, just biff each other, like like yeah. what's up, asshole? It's like it's very strange. <laughs> Yeah, SeaWorld they'll is definitely... They'll fuck each other's girlfriends They'll fuck each other's too. girlfriends? Yeah, they'll like, oh, this is mine now, bitch. SeaWorld is definitely not the lap of luxury. No, that's sea, for sure. SeaWorld is... Uh, SeaWorld's not cool. They're on their fucking 15th yeah. Shamu. Yeah, yeah, but there's still people that think, like, this Shamu is 180 years old, still kicking. Well, you know. And it's so sad, like, I went and... Because it's just on the way to, like, Orlando, and you, you see, it's like... I don't know if I have enough sympathy for animals like that, but it is something, it's like... 
if I was this orca, I'd, I'd start killing my trainers too. You Dude, know? and they're they're so smart too. Yeah, that's the problem. They're so ridiculously smart that I'm like, ah, oh, this is fucked up. Yeah, it's like cool. I got to pet like a flounder or a fluke. This is cool, but now there's this just and it's orca where here. they're kept is so small. It's so the parking small. lot is like fifty times bigger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> you ever see a uh, uh, what's it called blackfish? Yeah. Is that like that a documentary on sad. it? That's what basically caused all that. Like, you know, this is the last generation of Shamus, right? They're not going to do anymore? They're done. Oh, they're already done. They're, like, they're going to let these ones die. Am I, is that correct? Uh, they're going to yeah, let that's these, these ones die and then... They're committing themselves to a new... So what's SeaWorld going to do? Even though I'm pretty sure SeaWorld sued them over that because they were really upset. But it's it's, it's like an award-winning documentary about, about how truly fucked up like the retention of orca whales is. So, yeah, so there was this one uh, killer whale called like Tilco or something. T- yeah. T- what, what was it? Or, I, don't I, know. I don't know. Tico. Name, and um, he was like at like some like SeaWorld type attraction in Canada, like attack someone there. Then they moved him to another one. He attacked someone there. Then they moved him to SeaWorld where he finally killed someone. And it's like, didn't you like you guys knew the history behind this killer whale and thought mm, we can keep retraining him anyway? Well, they're probably making so much money bringing people in, and I'm sure it's not very easy to get a new orca. Exactly. Sounds like it sounds like how the Catholic Church kind of like moves around the priest. Like priest. Yeah, the yeah. priest that touched. Like, yeah, we, we touch someone there. It's like, oh, no, no, moving to Pennsylvania. No, no allegation here. Allegation here. Diddled. Yeah. Now, 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 what do we do? Yeah, I mean, but it's not hard to get new priests. There's, there's. I feel like this whole assembly line of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the the whale killed the guy. I mean, I don't blame the whale. Yeah. <laughs> this whale is, uh, you know, it's a, fighter. it's a fighter. Yeah, it's a fighter. I'd do the same exact thing. Yeah, I'd fucking, yeah, keep, keep, yeah. Keep, keep, I'm dying. Oh, this yeah, is, get, let me get one of those fish. Yeah. <laughs> Murdered. <laughs> fucking grab them. Yeah. Or like the trainer, like one of them drowned the train, like one of the female trainers because her hair was too long and they just dragged her by the hair and drowned her. Like that's, I, I don't know if they're smart enough to do that on purpose, but that's terrifying. To just get drowned by an orca, like fucking yeah. No, fucking. they're definitely smart enough to do that. Yeah, it's like they know, like oh, oh yeah, to drown her by her hair. Like, oh yeah, dude, uh, they're like they're really really smart. That's scary. Them and octopuses. Octopus. Octopi. Octopi. Is it octopi? Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't think they're that good at baking. Them and octi- octopuses. Uh, they. <laughs> All right, James. They. Uh, they're very smart. Incredibly intelligent. I know they could like judge who's gonna win the. They could open a jar. Yeah, they could judge who's gonna win the <laughs> fucking World Cup. Dude, some of these animals, like we, we're just not giving them enough credit. Like, uh, like there are literally animals with superpowers, like fucking Pokemon, like, like camouflage. A chameleon, and, yeah. yeah, a chameleon can just change to colors. Like, a, a, yeah. An electric eel can just use a thunder type attack and yeah. shock you. It's, yeah, that's that is weird. That, All of it. We're not giving these animals enough. We don't. We don't freak out about them enough. Is it okay? Big brain. Is, is, is it enough of a charge where if we farmed electric eels and had a thousand in, or like a million We're in, gonna a, in a tank? We're going to solve the power crisis? Can we like power a light bulb? So. A light bulb? Can we power a light bulb? Oh, definitely a light bulb. So if we could power oh, a light yeah, bulb. Oh, a light bulb. Or, yeah. So if we could power a light bulb, we could get enough electric eels to power now now a lamp. And now, He's on to something. And now also, a chandelier. It's a reaction, you know? Like, they don't just like constantly do it oh danny those those are those are round one electric eels yeah we're gonna we're gonna breed them until until it's they're always gonna breed them we're gonna extract the gene yeah we're gonna put it in antonio and make him electric and i'll be fucking static shock he's gonna be yeah he's gonna be uh static shock jt's been thinking about this for a few weeks like because because a week ago he came into my car and was like did you know electric eels are actually electric? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, and I, I thought was like, they... yes, I did. I, I've seen Fear Factor. Yeah, they... I thought they were like jellyfish where they just like sting you right. and like... it gives you a rash and they just called, oh, it's an electric eel. No, they're fucking electric. Yeah, they, they've been playing Pokemon and JT goes, we have real life Pokemon in this world. You know electric eels? And he'll just yeah. go on this rant. Yeah, maybe we can and get chameleons too. See, uh, yeah. see, see what it's like. My point is electric eels, we farm them, we breed them, genetically modify, power my house. Who's winning? But also, like, that's sort of, you might solve the power crisis there, but then you're also sort of moving towards slavery or animal slavery, which that's we true. want to get away from. I mean, but, like, we already have farms, and we're fucking pumping these chickens. Well, I just we're trying the, to get away I, from I just it. don't think the output is great enough for the... You talk Danny's about, just you, saying no, this because he's scared of electricity. That's true. But you're also... Well, that's not true at all. Being shocked. But you're talking... Well, no, I mean, I am scared of electricity, but I'm not... I mean, I would have no... <laughs> the lights I would, I would have no... No 
interaction with these like power generating eels. Right, but you're, again, you're still talking about wave one. We're talking about wave like fifty when we when we figured. I out. I I don't know. I mean, good and, luck. And then his next idea is a bunch of hamsters on wheels. Yeah, yeah. powering the whole goddamn planet. <laughs> we will figure this out. <laughs> yeah, good uh, that's luck. not enough output. <laughs> that's what Danny's been saying. Uh, no, no, no. For the hamsters, the eels. I'm still on board. Ten x that. Yeah, ten x that easy. Uh, you uh no, well, no way. I mean, isn't that what the Matrix was basically about? Electric eels? No. Was it? It's just, that's what the Matrix was about. Electric the, eels? No, no. The whole reason the Matrix existed with this fake world and everything is because we were all being hooked up to a, 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 like a machine, and it was powering their world, the electricity our body was producing. Why didn't they just use eels? Fucking idiots. Because they, they, they didn't- like, Our they, bodies aren't efficient generators of electricity. Yeah, but electric eels, apparently. That's all I'm saying. Stop this. <laughs> Um, so let's see. My roommate is gone. I don't know where he is. Oh, God. Uh, if you, if you're listening, please uh, <laughs> say, uh, I don't know where you are. Do you text him? I, I'm pretty sure legally I can start selling his possessions in a few, in a few days. Definitely. Is it, how uh, long does so it take? So if anybody needs a Herman Miller chair, let me know. Hit Danny, me in the DMs. Danny and his input fancy word household item it, it hit me in the dms I, i'll sell you one for a good price yeah i don't know where he is I, you know you text last him? time he was last time i texted him he was in cabo and then he was in arizona like on a business something which which that sounds like a like when your dad is cheating on your mom and he's like i gotta go to arizona for some business yeah but uh, and, uh, but, but first i'm going to cabo. Business is this is the name of the stripper that yeah yeah, bis- <laughs> yeah her name is business no, no, no. Her name's Arizona. He's still in Cabo. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to. That's good. I'm going to be in Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> that's sweet. Who, he's not who, lying. Who, what the fuck is in Arizona? The Grand I Canyon. I think Arizona is. Is that where the Grand Canyon is? One of the worst states. Arizona Ice Tea headquarters. It, maybe is it not in the Grand Canyon? Or is the Grand is Canyon Ari- not in Arizona? I don't know. I mean, I've never, <laughs> I've never been to the Grand Canyon. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll like it when I go one day. But as of now, it's just a big fucking hole. Wait, where is so, the Grand Canyon? N- it's gonna sound really dumb. I think now. it's in between Arizona and New Mexico now. Well, I've never been. I don't know, but for, yeah, until people, until I go there, big fucking hole. How, Arizona, useless. Second, second in the list of worst states behind Florida, obviously. Why is Florida the worst? Florida's definitely not the no, worst. No, you have state. like Utah. You are, what? Utah? Florida's what the fuck is in Montana? Well, how many times have you been to Oklahoma, buddy? Not many times. But I'd rather go there than Florida. <laughs> no, that I much rather. That is, that is worst. so F- dumb. F- Florida might be like my top five states to go. Oh At least there's shit God. to do there. You, have, my, you have Miami. Ho- you have Disney World. Florida's certainly in my top horrific. ten. Yeah. You have Florida's Miami. Top Disney World. Five. What? There's nothing certainly out there. Undoubtedly top ten. It's it's very overrated. What the the U.S. looks like. There's a lot of nothing. There's a lot of nothing. And maybe there's, there's like three things to do in the U.S. And one of them's in Florida. Yeah, and it's Disney World. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I hold more merit towards the middle. There's stuff in the middle. It's cool stuff. I've, I've seen it. It's the, yeah, but it's, it's your, cool it's, stuff. It's your version of cool. This stuff. is the biggest cornfield in the whole U.S. <laughs> have you, look have at this you giant, been? This have giant, you been? <laughs> look at this giant <sighs> rubber band ball. <laughs> Hey, giant rubber band ball is fucking cool. As I, listen, what, what does Florida have? The biggest meth spoon? Probably. Probably. That's yeah. that's already I mean, cooler. I'll go and see that any yeah, day. That's already cooler than whatever like Utah has. What does no, Utah no, have? Oh, Utah, Utah is awesome. What does it have? It has some of the greatest mount, ski mountains in the war, in the country. All right. All right. So you can only go there one season of the year. That's cool. What else? Yeah. It has Salt Lake City, which is a pretty cool place. I've been there. I've heard that is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Post Malone lives there. Does oh. he? Yeah. Why? I don't. Because I think people, Utah wasn't because, a good choice because people like people like right, living. What's for in this what's in, what's in Oregon? Boom. Oregon. What? Oregon has a Oregon has a ton of beautiful national parks. <laughs> so fucking cool, man. That's, uh, very cool. This very guy, cool. This... If, if I'll, I'll, I'll I'll help your case. Montana. I'll, I'll help your case. What's in Kansas? Nothing. Okay. That's, Nothing's in Kansas. I don't know why you would want to help my case, but fine. Kansas. But but, but the thing is, Kansas, Alabama. Kansas has no pros, but it has. No cons either. Uh, I don't know if you can go as far as to say. So that. What about Alabama? Alabama. What the fuck's there? Like a weird I mean, football, a weird I mean, football culture. That is there. Are, there are tons of parts of Alabama that are uh, Florida that are exactly like Alabama. That's probably true. That's true. They border each other. What's in Georgia? F- I mean, there's there's. But, do you, do you but, ever see that spinoff, the Florabama Shore? 
Right, but we're not saying. Right. No, I'm not we're, saying we're talking about just the best cool. parts yeah, of Florida. I'm not saying it's cool. Obviously, you're talking about the best parts of every state yeah, we're mentioning. Exactly. We're talking about sure, yeah. Miami. We're talking about Orlando. Yeah. And we're talking about Tampa, know, Clearwater Tampa's, Beach. Tampa's pretty cool. Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Miami. First of all, New not York. My New, scene. I mean, New York, California. Yeah, we could tell. Ones. Miami's not my scene. That sounds like a horrible. I mean, uh, how many? If if you could think of a douchebag capital of the world, Miami'd be up there. That's fine. Nothing to do with what we're saying. I wouldn't go to Miami either. Still, I so, would. Still better there. Yeah. Jersey sucks. Ah, don't shit on Jersey. You shit on Jersey all the time. <laughs> yeah, no. everyone shits on <laughs> yeah, Jersey. Yeah, but all yeah, the time. but 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 I shit on Jersey, and we shit we should, we should, the way the way we shit on Jersey should be like the way you shit on your younger, younger brother. brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jersey, Jersey. We can shit. Don't don't make fun of Jersey. If you, only we make fun. Of only we can make fun of Jersey. <laughs> fucking idiot. What, Jersey. What Alabama say? Let me go talk to him. You don't go fucking beat that shit up. Yeah. So Vermont. I keep. I, I keep, guess you could. Vermont. Vermont's, oh, Vermont's, Vermont's cool. Vermont's, Vermont's cool. cool. Vermont's okay. Vermont's cool, dude. You just you just have no you just have no interest in mountains of any kind. Yeah, I I, I said no. I, I gave it to you. I said the skiing is cool, but Vermont, there's nothing else again. If if we counted uh, Utah for the mountains, you know what's in Vermont? Can't you cool? smoke weed in like, Vermont? Clean air, yes, and you can. I feel like most states that aren't around here have decent yeah, clean but, but air. Vermont has that cool, crisp north air. It's like almost Canadian air. Every, every once in a while, close. you get a drift of Canadian air. Yeah, if you go higher, high enough in New York, you get uh, Canadian air. Dude, it's right Ver- there. Vermont's it's like kisses. such a weird mix between like, I don't want to say liberal and conservative, but more like people who are passionate about freedom, but also like extremely, like, uh, like I don't know, I guess left-leaning. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like Southern, I don't know. I it's don't a know bunch of, it. they're it's, Southern, it's, all it's of Southern like, people of the North. It's a bunch of like, Grateful Dead fans who are, yeah. right, who, right. who care about freedom, but also care about like the world, man. <laughs> you know, Wyoming. What's in Wyoming? Kanye West. Carry the state. Don't care about it. Also, uh, Jackson Hole, which is another ski thing. There's a lot of skiing in America. No, I know there's a lot of skiing in America. I think Jackson I, Hole. I was, I was going to say a Mexico. Most, uh, I don't know why. Uh, Mexico. I was going to say a Mexico instead of America. New Mexico. I, I mean. That's, that could be a good one. Everyone likes a newer anything, I feel like New so. Mexico is like Arizona's New Jersey. It's like the same fucking thing in my opinion. Yeah, I can't make fun of that. Either way, it's time to get out of here. It is. Danny has a, ski, sure, Danny has a ski trip to get on. Make sure you comment below um, what, if you think having a penis, a big penis is a liability. This guy. Tell, uh, tell them where to find you, Danny. Come tell on, them. T- prove me right. Um, also in the comments, leave... Uh, an answer to what size you think Danny's penis is. The winner will get um, $200. That's inappropriate. There that's could, sexualizing there, me. There, there could also that's, only be like four answers. That's that's inappropriate. One, two, three, that's, and four yes. inches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can be points. There's no points. Yeah, no, you well, got to get it. Rounding up to whole integers. Yeah, you, what you, what, were you measuring your penis in whole integers, dude? No, no, no. We're doing <laughs> closest uh, to the 10th of an inch. Yeah, 10th of an inch. Let's go, oh, let's, that, that's even, yeah, I do 20th of an inch. Yeah, let's go 100th. Um, That's not how it works. It's it's tens, hundreds. Eh. Danny, Danny's been out of school for a while. Give or take. Either way, come on, tell them where to let's. What? Tell them where to find you. Let's stab Just this. Okay. Means. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what this means. I tell them where to do this. Uh, you can find me at my new Instagram handle. That's true. Uh, Danny is watching, and I always am. JT. <laughs> Uh, you can find me at <laughs> JT Holden ninety seven on Instagram. That was a nervous like. Okay. Uh, you can find me at Ant. Prisco, can't forget to follow. Picky Boys Podcast. Also, find me at Danny Moriarty on YouTube. I'm going to make a video soon. My mustache video just passed 30,000 views. Really? Yeah. Wasn't it, it like has been, 15 the other day? It, it has been thrust into the YouTube algorithm yet again. Nice. So eventually I'll make a video over there. I don't know. Just telling you about my cool hobbies and how interesting I am. That's, that's going to be right. a short video. Love you.